Hello everybody, Doug Daniel from the Pilots Online Academy, making superior piloting simple. Welcome to Module 5 of Phase 1, the last aerodynamic force, weight. Here's what to expect. You'll learn what, other than gravity, causes weight. you learn the effect of angle of bank on weight. you learn the effect of weight on angle of attack, stall speed, and p-factor. Let's think of the weight of anything as how hard it pushes on a set of scales, even for a moment. So, if you are a 200 pound man and jump off the countertop onto a set of scales, and the scales momentarily read 1,000 pounds, at that moment you were a 1,000 pound man. Let's think of the direction of weight as opposite to the direction of lift. I want to put our 200 pounder in an airplane sitting on a set of bathroom scales. On the ground, the pilot scales and airplane weigh 2,000 pounds altogether. Now, he is inverted at the top of a loop. He is pushing up against the scales with 100 pounds of force. At that instance, he is a 100 pounder. The plane weighs 1,000 pounds and the direction of weight is straight up. All of this tells us that an airplane sitting on the ground or in straight and level flight weighs what we think it should. But when you change the direction, speed up or slow down, weight changes. Of course, the effect we care about most is changing direction and its resultant centrifugal force. To maintain constant altitude, an airplane must lift vertically with a force exactly equal to and opposite the force of gravity. Let's call that force the ground weight of the airplane, meaning the weight of the airplane sitting on the ground loaded exactly as it is in flight. An airplane in straight and level flight weighs the same as it does sitting on the ground. It's ground weight. When an airplane enters a turn, it must still lift vertically with its ground weight. That is to say, a force exactly equal to the force of gravity, or 1.00 g's. But lift is not only perpendicular to the wind, it is also perpendicular to the wings. In this case, with 30 degree bank, the pilot has to demand 1.15 g's lift to get the necessary 1.00 g's directly opposite gravity to maintain a constant altitude. As you increase your angle of bank, you must increase the lift you demand of your airplane. Your lateral acceleration also increases, giving you a faster turn. Notice that in level flight, the force pushing you into your seat is only dependent on angle of bank and has nothing to do with airspeed. Your rate of turn, measured in degrees per second, depends on both true airspeed, TAS, and angle of bank. The higher your TAS, the lower the rate of turn will be. The effect of weight on stall speed. Remember that only exceeding the critical angle of attack causes a stall. Also remember that in any specific airspeed, the greater the angle of attack, the greater the lift until boundary layer separation. This means that at a constant airspeed, the greater the weight, the greater the angle of attack must be to maintain level spot flight. It also means that airplane has to fly faster the heavier it is if it is going to stay below its critical angle of attack. I know that's a long way around to say the higher the weight, the higher the stall speed. Don't forget that a steep turn also increases weight and stall speed. Effective weight on p-factor. An increase in either angle of attack or power setting results in an increase in p-factor. We know that an increase in weight results in an increase in angle of attack, resulting in an increase of drag, resulting in an increase in power. So, at constant airspeed, an increase in weight results in an increase in p-factor. Beyond the consequences of increased right rudder pressure needed to compensate for p-factor during takeoff and climb, 
We now know that it is needed during steep turns. Here's what you've learned. You learned what other than gravity causes weight. You learned the effect of angle of bank on weight and the effect of weight on angle of attack, stall speed, and p-factor. In the next video you will learn how to control airspeed, control altitude, take off, climb, and glide. Thank you very much and talk again later.